everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are all having an awesome day. So on today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a little um, trick that I found on YouTube. And it involves these beautiful pineapples. Okay, and it smells really, really nice. So I'm going to attempt to do the pineapple hack today. <laughs> so this hack um, went viral on TikTok and then Twitter and I discovered it on YouTube. So it looks really easy how they do this hack on um, the videos but apparently everyone we've been eating pineapple the wrong way the whole time. Well at least I've been eating it wrong way. So I'm going to show you how I normally eat my pineapple and then I'm going to attempt the pineapple hack. I picked two of the ripest ones that I can find at my grocery store. And with the hack, it's told that um, it's not really easy to do. And it works really well with a certain Japanese species of pineapple. And obviously, I can't get my hands on those, so this came from Costa Rica. And um, for it to work really well, it has to be very, very ripe. Mm, this one I wouldn't say is very ripe, but it's the ripest that I can find. Okay? And it smells really, really nice. My trick to find a ripe pineapple, you can see from these two that I have, um, it's yellow from the bottom up and there's a little bit of green on here so that's how I can tell that it's not completely ripe. But if it's completely ripe it would be yellow all the way to the top. And this part right here, the leaves, is called the crown. And what you guys do is obviously you would press it and if it gives a little bit then it's pretty ripe. And then what you guys would do is just kind of pick the leaves off and you can see how it was a little bit of a struggle to pull it off so it's not completely ripe but ripe enough okay so I'm going to show you my way of cutting the pineapple the way that I've been eating it um, it's going to be very quick very simple and straight to the point to get to my pineapple okay so I'm just going to cut the tip and then I'm going to cut out the crown. And as some of you, um, if you don't know, what you can do is you can plant this, the crown, into a potting soil and it would actually grow into another pineapple. You should try it because my husband did it and it's, it's coming along but I don't see any pineapple on it yet so hopefully soon. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut very close to um, the core to get most of the skin off. And what I'm trying to do right here is I'm trying to get rid of all the um, eyes because the eyes is what makes the uh, pineapple when you eat it. It's kind of like um, it makes your tongue kind of itchy. So that's why I'm trying to get rid of all the eyes. So just well, before I cut off all the um, skin, pineapples right here you can see, um, these are individual fruits and a pineapple is made up anywhere from 50 to 200 multiple fruits. Okay, And then technically it's actually known as a berry and the scientific term for a pineapple is Ananas camosis is <laughs> such a nice and fun word to say. Okay, so I'm going to keep cutting it. And then, obviously, there's going to be some eyes left, so I'm just going to go back. So you guys can see there's still some eyes left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and just kind of cut those off. You guys can see I cut all the eyes off and it's very close to the core so I cut most of the skin off. And you can see how wasteful this is. There's a lot of flesh attached to the skin still. Half it. 
cut it. Another half, and then just get rid of the core. I'm just gonna slice it into bite sizes. There you go. So my way is very, very quick and simple. Literally took me like two minutes and I have my pineapple ready to eat. Mmm. Oh my god, these are so sweet. So usually when I buy them and they're not too sweet, I dip it with salt and pepper, but this there's no need for that. Mmm. It's really sweet. And I love pineapple. It's like so watery and it's so refreshing. Mmm. -mm -mm. This reminds me so much of Mexico. Because I had so much pina colada there. Mmm. It's so good. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside, and now I'm going to tell the pineapple hat. Okay, here goes. Mm. So, just a little fun fact, <laughs> you know, I, after eating those um, pieces of pineapple, um, my tongue is tingling. You know why? Because pineapple has enzymes called um, bromelain, bromelain, I think. And what it does, it's it's kind of working away at your tissues in your mouth. So it's it's also people say that it's a fruit that eats you back. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do with this one is they said that you're gonna score um, along the. Um, the crown to get it off, okay? When you guys look close up at the pineapple, it has a very beautiful spiral uh, formation. Okay? And each, again, each of these segments is a fruit. And if you pull this thing down right here, it exposes the pineapple eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Take a paring knife and I'm gonna score individually, like along the individual segments of the fruits to separate it from the, um, the core, okay? So you're gonna score as deep as you can so you can actually remove it. Let's go here. It's pretty easy enough. And the segments of the individual fruits are pretty well laid out, so it's easy for you to get in there. <laughs> now I'm going to pull it apart. Hopefully it'll come off. Mm, still a little bit intact, so I'm just go back in and get whichever parts I didn't cut off completely. Wow, look at that, that's so pretty. Okay, so again, you guys, if you guys want to grow your own pineapple, just take the crown and put it into some potting soil and within five to 12 months, you'll get a pineapple. So I have the first part accomplished. <laughs> that was pretty easy enough. So this is my first time doing this hack and I've seen so many videos that it, it wasn't that easy and it was really messy <laughs> so it was like all the, the liquid and the juice was kind of dripping all over the place and there's like pineapple bits everywhere so <laughs> let's see how mine goes so what you're gonna do is you know, kind of just kind of roll it like you would with a lemon just to kind of um, loosen the fruits and then you're gonna push against the individual fruits so like if I wanted this one I'm just gonna push on it and then just Try to get it off with your nail. My first one. Mmm. 
This one's a little bit sour than my first one. Okay, I'm gonna try again. So that one was along the green side. So I'm gonna try it like this side. You can see it's more yellow, so it's riper, more ripe. I'm gonna try it. Push. Get it off with your nails. There you go. It's actually pretty easy. Mmm. Oh, that piece is sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. And try to get as close to the core as I can. Mmm. This is actually pretty easy. Let's push it. It's a lot easier on the side that's more yellow though. The one on the side that's more green, the um, individual fruits doesn't want to seem to come apart. Mmm. I'm gonna keep trying to get all the fruits off so I can reveal the core. This is actually a lot easier and neater than some of the other attempts that I've seen. I guess because I just got really lucky and I picked one that was more ripe. You just press on it, it just comes off pretty easily. pretty much half of the pineapple and you can see the core right here you can see it's a little bit reviewed 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 <laughs> the core right here is starting to review itself and I'll show you some of the fruits the individual fruits that I got it's actually a lot easier than it looked <laughs> its individual segments and I think the way that people why people do it this way is because you when you get the individual fruits like this and you eat into it you bite really really close to the eyes so you get most of the flesh off whereas my way you cut most of it off between my way and the pineapple hat honestly this is more time-consuming and it is a lot messier than mine but it does save a lot of the fruit but honestly I would still stick to my way because it's very fast, very simple, straight to the point this one's fun if you want to do it with like if you have kids or something I think the kids would really really love doing that because it's like really hands on and it's really fun but very messy <laughs> end of the day I'm still sticking to my way. <laughs> That's it for me today. That's my attempt on the pineapple hack. I thought it went really well, but not for me. I'm gonna still stick to my way. <laughs> and as you all know, I love fruits, and if you have any hacks or anything with any other fruits, please, please let me know, because I would love to try it out. And if you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed, please subscribe and don't forget to give me a thumbs up everyone. See you guys next time. Bye!